Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, of course I continue my uh, top 10 frequencies I tune to pretty much every day and explain why. Now this one will probably have some people saying, what, you go to the CDB band every day to check out CB? Well, there's a reason behind this. So I've got three frequencies that I actually will check out. The first one, 27025, that's what we call the Super Bowl channel. It's channel 6 if you don't have um, a, a digital display, you have just channels. It's, of, it's very simple. <clears throat> when propagation conditions um, actually give skip on the CB band, it's an indication for other things. The first channel that I look is channel 6, 27025, because when sporadic e-skip, or if there's you know some really higher solar activity and the bands open up, you immediately start hearing uh, CB ears hundreds, thousands of miles away on this channel. And when you start hearing that, well, then it opens up other frequencies that you might want to check. If I hear something on channel 6, 27025, I'll automatically, uh, first of all, check 27385, channel 38 in lower sideband, which also has lots of skip and, and, and they are... Uh, and lower sideband is kind of a fun to sometimes to listen to that. And of course, there's the 27555 upper sideband calling frequency of the out of band guys that will often call. And you know, sometimes it's fun. Uh, you can hear Europe, you can hear transatlantic DX in here. But there's more. The reason I also listen to 27025 or these frequencies in the CB band in general is because it also tells me, oh, 10 meters might be open. 10 meters going from 28,000 to 29,700. It is one of my favorite uh, amateur radio bands. When it's open, it's, a, it's really cool. And this is one reason I check this. When skip happens there, well, the 10 meter band is probably open and it's worth going to check out. It even gives me more details about six meters it might mean six meters is also open 50 megahertz i'll go check that too so there's a lot of stuff in there actually when this is open i'll tune around anywhere from 25 megahertz up to 30 megahertz because you might hear uh, some studio to link transmitters of some local tv or fm station that might pop up in 25 megahertz you'll hear all sorts of things pop up that are unusual or interesting so it's always worth it to check out so I check this pretty much every day if I am going to listen to the shortwave bands a little bit I will go and check out now in these times of lower solar activity what happens is most of the skip that you get here is sporadic e-skip sporadic e-skip happens mostly because the majority of uh, e-skip is going to happen in the summer months and around there's a smaller patch around the um, the uh, Christmas time holiday um, around the uh, winter solstice but it can happen anytime don't take that as being definite you can probably listen to that anytime uh, it's surprising when it can actually pop up honestly and uh, checking it out regularly will give you an idea and it can pop up at any time of day. Sporadic e-skip does not depend on solar activity or the fact that the sun is up or not. You can be smack in the middle of the night at 2 a.m. and hear the 10 meter band open when that happens. And of course, when solar activity picks up, when the next solar cycle will pick up, well, these will be open uh, quite a lot thanks to higher solar activity, hopefully. So that's why I listen to these, and it's part of the top 10 frequencies I tune to every day. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.